Ginny. Today is Thursday, April 17th, 2014. And today I wanted to talk about um, movie adaptations of books. So last week you talked about starting up again with the Nerdfighteria Book Club. And the past couple, well the last week, I have been reading books for fun instead of studying. It got a little too much for me to handle there, so then I just, I wanted to see Divergent. And I signed the pledge to read it first. So, um, I was required to read the book, slash, I guess I could have cheated, but you know, I wanted to read it first. And movie adaptations of books always leave me disappointed. I mean, it's not the same. You just have a picture in your head how everything's gonna go, and especially the characters. Sometimes they look totally different than I thought they would in my head. Um, they actually did a really good job um, in this movie. I pictured for exactly how he was on screen, so good job. Um, but yeah, I know that they can't do some things with special effects or just physically, and sometimes they just change the story to make it more interesting or to make it flow better, and they just don't have the time to make uh, a like 15 hour, hour movie to include everything, but they try. I like now that they start doing like two movies per book, like they did that with um, the last Harry Potter. They had Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2, so that was awesome. I really wish they would have done that with Lord of the Rings. They're doing that with The Hobbit now, but they just left so much out of Lord of the Rings. It made me very upset when I first saw it, and my mom had to sit me down, and she's like, Brianne. That movie was already like three and a half hours long. If they included everything, we'd be sitting in there for two days. I, I was okay with that. I am the person that does Lord of the Rings marathons of the extended versions and we're just there forever. But even though I love movies, I just... books are better. I... Mm, movies are good to like sit down and relax and to turn off your brain. But books are so engaging and you just like get a feeling that you're in the story. At least I do. I, even when I stop reading, I like imagine myself in the story. I like picture a character for myself and I invent myself and I'm just like, okay, this is what, what I would do if I was in the story. So, yeah. But I guess that is my rambling for today. I met with my senior thesis committee and... I got that kind of squared away, so that's going to happen. So yeah, I have to go and write papers and start studying for finals, because I have my first final next week! I don't know. In a couple weeks, I'll be such a... so, 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 so much happier. Such a happier person. My brain is just turned off right now, so if I mumble and mix up my words, that is the reason. But... That is all for today. Goodbye.